Chris Olave, man, welcome to the lounge. How you doing? I'm great. How you doing? You know what? I can't complain. Having an opportunity to talk to a superstar like you, I'm good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Hey, tell us a little bit about how you got to Ohio State. So my first time uh, me in Ohio State was Ohio State coach was uh, actually Coach Day. He uh, came down and see my, my quarterback. My quarterback was a big time recruit uh, coming out of high school. So uh, I think it was my junior year. I didn't get to play my junior year uh, due to transfer. So uh, he came down to see my quarterback. Uh, he told me to come to a camp here out of Ohio State. But, uh, I wasn't really a big time recruit my junior year, so I didn't really uh, acknowledge him really. But uh, after like my third game of my senior year, he ended up uh, reaching out to me again, and we stayed communicating. And he ended up offering me like my midseason, uh, my senior year. What'd you learn about yourself going through that process? It was it was a lot. I mean, recruiting recruiting is a lot, but I learned uh, about myself that I could I could do it, and uh, I just gotta have a confidence in myself. And, I have the talent, the God-given talent. Uh, I have so many blessings in my life, and I just got to uh, take advantage of my opportunities. So. Let's fast forward to this year. I mean, you guys uh, are off to a really fast start. You know, obviously, the pandemic slowed you down as far as when you would start. What was the mindset going into the first game uh, when Coach Day was talking about, listen, we can't win a national championship this first weekend. What was what was the message and what was the mindset that you guys needed to have? We knew we knew we were behind a lot. Uh, you know, starting our first game and, and about I think week eight, uh, it was tough, but we had a we had to prove a point and we just wanted to play Buckeye football and not not do anything special or not do anything extra or anything over. But we just wanted to play it the way we play and uh, we went out and did that. Listen, you guys have a loaded wide receiver room. There's no question whether it's true freshman, whether it's yourself. How much competition is in that room right now? Over the summer, over the quarantine, we all we all competed against each other. I mean, when we, when we working now, we wanted to be the first ones. Uh, when we racing in the summer, doing speed drills, doing lifting, I mean, we're all competing against each other every day. So, uh, but it made us all better at the end of the day. It was competition. We was talking mess with each other, but at the end of the day, we uh, it's showing up the first couple of weeks. And we just want to keep doing all that. That's it. Ryan Hartline, your receiver coach. Tell me how he influences your group. Uh, he's a he's a guy that we we uh we all respect. I mean, he did uh, I believe seven or eight years in the league, so he, he's experienced. Uh, he knows what it likes to be a player. Yeah, he, uh, he uh, moved that over to, to being a coach. So uh, when he talks, we all listen. Uh, I mean, from my freshman year to now, I feel like I developed so much. And, uh, I gave all respect to him. So. Well, Chris, thanks a lot for spending a little time with me in the lounge. Good luck this weekend. Stay healthy. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys.